Hi all, hope you are preparing well for the exam. So here I am again to show you one of the section for the SQL. So as I told you that I will be telling you more about the SQL thing, how to solve the questions. So this is another paper, it is a sample paper for 2015. And in this video I am going to explain how to solve your question number 3, 5 and 6 which is altogether for 30 marks, that is the weightage of SQL. So this is your question number 3 where they have asked in A part like Soumya had previously created a table named product in a database using MySQL. Later on she forgot the table structure. Suggest a suitable MySQL command through which she can check the structure of the already created table. So you have to see the structure of the already created table. So command for that is describe. We can write the complete word describe or can just write the word DESC. So the answer for A part would be DESC space product. So that will display the structure. So the above command, the above command displays the structure of the table product. So that's your answer for A part. Okay, the second question that's B part is Roly wants to list the names of all the tables in her database named gadgets. Which command she should use to get the desired result? Now she has to give the names of all the tables but for that she has to make her database as the current database so to make the database as a current database, we have the command called use gadgets. So when we write use gadgets, gadgets become the current database. And then we write the command show tables. So when we write show table, it will show the list of all the tables in the given database. So that's the answer for B part. Then comes C. Kuhu has already created a table hospital as shown below. Patient ID, patient name, disease, age, and charges are the fields and your values. Now she wants to add a new column address to the above given table. Suggest suitable MySQL command for the same. So it's again for one mark. So the command which we use is alter table. So I write alter table. The table name is hospital. So alter table hospital. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column. The column is address and the data type should be varchar. They have not mentioned the question but addresses can have characters so we assume the data type to be varchar and the maximum size let's say I have taken as 30. So that's how we add a new column to the existing table. D question is Amit works, works as a database administrator in a multinational bank. He wants to undo the changes made in the current transaction. Suggest him a suitable MySQL command for the same. So to cancel the changes of a transaction, we have a command called rollback. So rollback is used to undo, that means cancel the changes which you have done in your SQL. But for that, the auto commit should be off. Okay, what will be the output of the following queries on the basis of employee table? So first is select average salary from employee. Okay, so to show the average salary. For finding the average salary, we have to add the salary divided by the number of rows. Now here the trick is that you have null value in one of the salaries. So what I'm going to do is I'll add the not null values which is 5600 and 5000. That becomes 10,600 and we are not going to divide it by 3, we are going to divide it by 2. Because the values which have null are not counted only for the group functions. So 10,600 divided by your number of rows is 5300. If you to write the proper output, I should show it like this, that the column heading would be average salary and in the next line we will get the average salary printed. So that's 5300. Select salary plus 100 from employee where MP ID is equal to A002. So the output has to be shown for salary plus 100. Okay. Now for A002 the salary is null and I have told you in the previous video that if we perform any operation with null the result is always a null value. So it will not be 100 rather the output would be 
null in this. So that's how we answer the output. Then as we question number F, that's for two marks again. A table named games has the following contents. So we have these three records. Write the output that will be displayed by statement 1 and 2. Okay. So we start from here. It says select star from games. So it will show the content. That means this whole table. But we don't have to write that because we have to answer for 1 and 2 only. Okay. Then it says set auto commit is equal to 0. That means auto commit is turned off. So by the time we don't write commit, the changes will not be saved automatically. Then it says insert into games values 105 chess to 9000. So this record will be added in this games table. Then they write rollback. Since rollback is given, so the effect of this insert query is cancelled. It's undone. So we don't get this record chess in the table. So it is inserted and then it's cancelled as well. Then we have save point S1, okay. Then it shows select star from games. So when I show select star from games here, so what, what should it display? It should display the original data what we have in the table. So whatever data is there in the table, same data will be displayed here. So you will get G code, G name, number of players, prize money. So I will be getting the data for 101, I'll be getting data for 102 and I'll be getting data for 103. I'm not uh, writing the columns here properly because of lack of the space. But otherwise, you'll have the heading, heading for this, heading for this and heading for this and we'll get all three rows. Chess will not be displayed because it was inserted but we wrote rollback so that got, that got cancelled. So that is undone, we don't get that. Then there is another command after this one that's insert into game values where we insert lawn tennis. Then we have save point S2. Then we have another insertion for cricket. Then we have a command called rollback. But now rollback is up to S2. So when it's written rollback to S2, it will start cancelling from here. But it will cancel only up till where you get your save point S2. So I get save point here. So it will cancel this cricket insertion. But it will not cancel the lawn tennis insertion. It will still remain there. So... After the execution of this, when we display the data, we have these three plus lawn tennis is also inserted. Cricket was inserted, but that is cancelled because of the rollback. So this thing is output of your first command. Then we have to show the output of second. And when you have to write the output of second... It would be all same but with one more record and that one more record is for lawn tennis. So I have lawn tennis 4 and 25,000. So that would be inserted. So this will be the output of the second statement. So one row will be inserted. The other two were rollback. That's why they are not there in the table. So that's how we deal with commit and rollback commands. Okay, then you have G part where you have again the question for two marks and the question for two marks is that observe the given statements carefully. Select star from club where salary between 20,000 and 30,000. Select star from club where salary in 20,000 comma 30,000 and then we have two more commands. Now it's asked make pairs of the equivalent SQL statements given above which give the same output and place each pair in a group. So we have seen that between is used to give the result when the value lies between 20,000 and 30,000, both values inclusive. And if you read the query number three, which says select star from club where salary greater than or equal to 20,000 and salary less than or equal to 30,000. So we could see that option one and three would do the same thing. This is also showing the records which have salary between 20 to 30,000 and this is also doing the same thing. So we can say equivalent SQL statements. So we can say 1 and 3 are equivalent SQL statements. And then your option 2 and option 4 because in means Salary in 20,000 comma 30,000 means salary should be either equal to 20,000 or salary should be equal to 30,000. The same thing is written in query 4. 
So two and four are equivalent. So that's your answer for G. Okay. So that's question number three. Ten marks in total. Fourth question is for Java. So we come to question number five here. That is again based on SQL. So here A part says observe the table club given below. Club is this table. Then it is asked what is the cardinality and degree of the above given table. So cardinality and degree is one thing which is asked every year in one or the other form. So here fifth question A part first part of that. So cardinality is the number of rows. I have one, two, three, four rows in it. Degree, it's one, two, three, four, five columns in it. So we'll say cardinality of table club is four. And degree of the table is five. So that's it. Simple. Then you have if a new column contact number has been added and two more members have joined the club, then how these changes will affect the degree and cardinality? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, since one more column is added, so degree will become six, and there are already four records. If two more records are added, so the cardinality will also become six. So cardinality of the table will become six, and degree will also become Six. So what I'm going to write here is that cardinality of table club becomes six and degree of the table becomes six as well because you get six rows and six columns in the table after adding one more column and two more rows to that. Then is your part B of question five. Part B of question 5 says write the output of the following SQL commands. So following SQL commands, first one is select in STR, select in STR, in brackets it's written international, comma NA. Now in STR is a function which is used to search for a string inside another string. So it will search the second string inside the first one. If it is found, it will give the position. If it is not found, it gives 0. So if I see N A, it's I N T E R N A. Okay, so we find N A over here. So here we have N A. Let's see the position for this. In SQL, the position starts from one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It starts at position six. So output of the first one should be six. Then the second one is select length. Then in brackets we have concat, and the two values are network, comma, ing. Inner function is always executed first. So concat means joining. So it will join network and ing and it becomes networking. And then length will find the number of characters in that. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 characters in networking altogether. Select round 563.345 comma minus 2. So when it's given in negative means we don't have anything after the decimal. The solve will become 0 and two digits from the left of the decimal will also become zero. So the 63 will also become zero, zero. But, but this value is six, means it's greater than five. So we have to add one to the previous digit. So the answer becomes 600. So minus two means you have to make zero everything which is after the decimal and two digits on the left of the decimal. And since it's round, and the value is greater than 5, we add 1 to the leftover digit, so it becomes 600. Next is select day of year, 2014, 01.30. Since the month is first, so day of year would be the same as the day of month, it will be 30. So it is 30th January is 30th day of the year. If it would have been Feb, so we would do 31 plus the date of Feb, because we have to tell the day number out of the whole year okay then is your C where you get a table and we get some questions to work on the table so we have a table where it says that Pranav who is an Indian created a table named friends to store his friends detail and we have following queries to be worked upon and this question is for six marks in total and 
for first four you have to tell the query and for the other three you have to tell the output let's start with the thing so first question is to display list of all foreigner friends now list of all foreigner friends as they have told that Prane is an Indian so means the friends whose country is not India are the foreigner friends so we have to use a bit of common sense over here because it's not a direct question so okay to display a list means select star from name of the table is friends where country country is not equal to India so if the country is not equal to India that means the friend is a foreigner friend and it will be displayed so that's your first query then it says to list name city and country in descending order of age so when the columns are mentioned you have to fetch only those columns so I'll be writing select name comma city comma country from friends and no condition has to be given but we have to show them as per descending order of age so order by age D E S C so it will show them in descending order of age since no condition was required we have not given where in the query then to count how many friends have email ID on Gmail so you have to count you have to count how many friends have email ID on Gmail so for counting we have the function count so we can write select count to count the number of rows we can just put a star in the counts bracket from friends so select count star from friends where now the question is where the email id is on gmail so how do we know email id is on gmail we should have the email id ending with gmail.com that would be one thing and how do you check ending with or starting with or it has a character for that we can't use equal to we have like so we're going to use like here we'll write where email id like like whatever may be at the beginning but at the end we must have gmail.com so I write the query like this select count star from friends where email id like percentage means any number of unknown characters could be there but at the end I should have gmail.com so the ones who have gmail.com at the end of their email id means they have their email id at gmail so that would be displayed uh, have I missed something no okay that is uh, third answer fine then is your question number four that is to list name and city of those friends who don't have an email id so you have to list name and city so we'll write select name comma city from table name friends so select attribute list that is name comma city from table name and then comes your condition where where they don't have an email id they don't have an email id means their email id column is null so i'll write where email id is null so where email id is null We'll check if the email ID is null. That means it's blank. Like for these two, Alexander and Shashank. If we run this query, it will print Alexander and Shashank as a result because their email ID is null. But we don't have to write the output. We have to write the query. So we've written that. Then comes question number five, where you have to write the output of this query. So select name, comma, country from friends where age greater than 12 and name like a percentage. So what I have to show, I have to show name, then I have to show country, so that should be the headings, and then you have to write the values. Now the condition is age greater than 12, and name like a percentage, and means both conditions should be true. So Alice is having age greater than 12, and his name starts with A. So the first value I'll write is Alice, and the country is USA. Okay, then comes Charles. Charles' name starts with C, so we're not going to consider. Then we have Angel. Again, Angel's name starts with A and age is 16, which is greater than 12. So we can print that. Okay, then the next one is Jasmine. We will not take it. Raj, Jete, Alexander starts with A and the age is greater than 15. So both conditions are true. So we have to print that as well. So we take Alexander and the country is 
Australia. Send the and then you write the country. Fine. So that's it. So this is how we write the output of question number five. Then a six. Select U case. Then in brackets we have concat name multiplied uh, means asterisk city from friends where country like Denmark. So you have to show this particular function. So what function is this? U case means you have to show the details in capital letters. Concat means you have to join some things. And what you have to join? You have to join name with a star sign and the city all together. So these three things should be joined together and should be displayed in capital letters for all those friends where who have their country like Denmark. So we have Charles from Denmark and we have Jette from Denmark. So what we are going to write is we have to show everything in capitals. So Charles star and city. So city for Charles is Copenhagen. So Copenhagen. And then the second one is J-E-T-T-E -T -T -E star and his city is Nykobing. Okay, so that's the output for your sixth query. Then as a seventh question, select mid name 1,4 as UID from friends where country like USA. So we have to fetch for the USA thing. They have two records, LS and Angel for that. And what we have to do is we have to pick the characters from the string starting from position one we have to fetch four characters and there is an allies as uid that means you don't have to write the formula here rather you can write the column heading as uid and in this i have to write first four characters so a l i c is the first four characters from ls and then angel is from usa so per country like usa so we have to pick only these two records ls and angel because the country is USA and starting from position 1 we have to fetch 4 characters so that gives me this result so that's how we answer these questions okay then comes your question number 6 which is again for 2 marks as we know the pattern is fixed for every year the first question of 6 question is to create a table so we have write SQL query to create a table bank customer with the following structure so simplest question you have so how do we write this answer we write create table name of the table is given in the question so bank customer so create table bank customer round bracket name of the column given is account number then the data type is given as integer the constraint is given in the question as primary key keep writing everything separated by spaces give comma at the end then customer name I prefer writing this query with every field on a separate line but if you want you can write the whole command on the same line that does not matter then we have not null then we have customer address customer address is also vancar then we have customer city which is again Varkar. So this is your answer A of question number 6. Then comes B where it says in a bank's database there are two tables customer info and transaction detail. So we have customer info where we have account number, customer name, customer address, customer city, customer phone. Then we have transaction detail where we have details related to the transactions. The first question in this is, is it possible to have primary key and foreign key in one table? Justify your answer. Yes, it is possible because primary key is used to identify the record in a table and foreign key is used to establish its link with another table. So yes, it is possible as primary key is used to identify a record In the table and foreign key is used to establish link with another table okay 
then a table can have maximum how many primary keys and foreign keys a table can have only one primary key we cannot have more than one primary key in a table so a table can have only one primary key but there can be any number of foreign keys in the table so we can have any number of foreign keys in a table we can link it with multiple tables but we have only one primary key in a table okay that's it if uh, they have not asked in this particular paper like what is the primary key and foreign key so you don't have to answer but for example you can write like customer info has account number as the primary key then transaction detail has transaction id as the primary key and in transaction table account number helps you to link with the customer info so account number can be treated as the foreign key so this one is primary key here here transaction id is the primary key and account number helps you to make a link so it should be considered as foreign key okay so it's not asked you don't have to write but you can write as an example if you want then comes your next question which is for 6 marks we have two tables flights and fares and they have given us questions where we have to write the sql code for that so the first query says to display flight number source airline of those flights where fare is less than 10000 so i have flight number and flight table i have source and flight table but i don't have airlines in the flight table that's there in fares table that shows that we have to link both the tables together so we're going to write select now since fno that is flight number is in this table as well as in this table so i can't write just fno here i have to tell from which table i want to fetch this so i say i'm fetching it from f table which is an alias for flights then i have to fetch the source then i have to fetch the airlines from the two tables which is flights and the alias is f then the second table is fares the alias is let's say r where where the condition which they have given we have to give that but make sure you give the condition to join first so where f dot flight number is equal to r dot flight number and then i can write whatever other condition i have to give that is fare is less than 10000 so i can write fare less than 10000 but don't forget to give the condition to join the tables you get two marks for this this is the main thing so select f dot f number comma source comma airline from both the tables that's flights alias is f comma fares are where f dot flight number is equal to r dot flight number and fare less than 10000 so always see which is the common column which helps you to join the tables and accordingly give the join condition here then it says to count total number of indian airline flights starting from various cities so that means i have to group as per the source but i have to count as per indian airline so airline is here source is here so that means again we need to form the join and what we have to do is we have to fetch select source comma count star from flights f comma fares r where f dot flight number is equal to r dot flight number and then we can write and before we do that we have to give a condition that airline indian airlines total number of indian airline flights okay so and airlines is equal to indian airlines and finally after where we have group by so group by source so we have select source comma count star from both the tables where we have to give the condition to join and then 
the condition that the airline has to be from Indian Airlines and then you have to tell that we have to group by the source. So it will make groups by source for only those airlines which belongs to Indian Airlines and count the number of flights for that. Okay, number of flights. So we should not count. We have a column for number of flights and we have to find the total number of flights. So it should be sum of number of flights from flights F and all this group by source. So that's your answer for question 2. It's for 2 marks. And then in the third question, they have given the query and you have to write the output of that. So whenever you get questions like this that you have uh, two questions where you have to write the query and one where you have to write the output, you get a hint like how to form a join. So even if you, I'm sorry, even if you forget how to make a join, you can see the answer from here. So we have select flights We have select flights dot f number comma number of flight comma airlines from both the tables where flights dot f number is equal to fares dot f number and source is equal to Delhi. So what you have to show is you have to show the flight number. We have to show the number of flights and we have to show the airlines. Okay, so the where source is Delhi and where the records matches. So where source is Delhi, so source is Delhi, we have these tables, right? Okay, so for source Delhi, I have MC101, MC101 is here, that's Deccan Airlines. So you're going to write that as the output. So the airline is MC101, number of flights for MC101 is 6. So you write 6 and the airlines you have for that is Deccan airlines okay and then we check for the then you have source Delhi in MU 499 and here also you have MU 499 which is Sahara and the number of flights for this is 3 so we're going to write that here so it's MU 499 number of flights we have is 3 and the airline we have is Sahara so that's the output for this question, 2 marks each, you get 6 marks for this. So that's how we answer the SQL part and this whole section, that's question number 3, 5 and 6 gives you 30 marks out of 70. So just make sure by practicing my SQL that you should not lose even a single marks out of this 30 marks. I hope you understood how, how I have solved this. If any of you who haven't gone through joins and all and you're watching my videos for the first time, do write to me in the comment section and I'll get back to you with your doubts.